everyone, Joel Hansen here, and today we're outside the Terry Melt. The Terry Melt here in Dearborn, Michigan, just outside Detroit. So, super cool place, and we're here to do a massive sandwich challenge. So for this challenge, we're gonna have what is like eight different sandwiches, including shawarmas, a burger, and of course, through traditional Terry Melts. So this is such a cool restaurant. So family owned, family operated. What's really cool is where the Terry Melt was born, what the Terry Melt is, which is their signature sandwich. So the father of the location, I think his name is Terry, presumably, immigrated from Lebanon, you know, back in the 70s or something, he was like 17. He started working in at the Coney Island kind of restaurants around the area, which are kind of like diners. And he created his own signature sandwich called the Terry Melt. Now it was never on the menu, the places he worked, but it became so popular that people would come from all over. Anyway, he stopped working at restaurants. People in the community, the neighborhoods, would still beg him to make this sandwich. So finally, years later, the family decides to open up a store highlighting the Terry Melt. The traditional one is uh, made with chicken, it's different cheeses, it's uh, banana peppers and different marinades and sauces, a homemade ranch. But anyway, big challenge. We have 30 minutes to complete uh, a whack of sandwiches, but it sounds like a lot of fun. It should be really good. We're going to get the meal for free. So let's head on in. I'll get some more info and uh, let's go eat some food. All right, everyone. So here we are with all of these sandwiches. Looks absolutely delicious. So here we have a steak baguette. I have a steak quesadilla. I have a patty melt. This is kind of like a burger patty. Uh, the sandwich looks very delicious. We have the chicken melt, the original Terry melt, the famous sandwich that started this all. I have a chicken shawarma. I have a beef shawarma, which is actually done on the grill versus on a big spit, which is really cool. I have a lovely looking steak melt. This is the most popular seller right here. I also have an AI baguette right here, which is named after a gentleman. I have a Beirut burger, which is coleslaw, fries, etc., all on it. So it's a lot of food. It looks very, very delicious. I'm super excited to get into this. Um, I have some of their house made ranch and also some extra ketchup. But yeah, that's about it. So ultimately, let's get started here just momentarily. Everyone, so it looks really delicious. So we might as well get started here. So how about we say at the count of five, four, I don't even know where to start. This looks all looks really, really delicious. Uh, maybe I'll start with uh, maybe the original Terry Bell. So let's say three, two, one, let's get eating. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. I see why that is a favorite. That is so good. The marinades, the peppers on there, that ranch, oh my gosh. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at the Terry Melt. Yes, Terry Melt. So as I kind of already mentioned, the history behind this place, it's always kind of a story like that, like a true kind of, you know, work your way from the ground up, kind of blue collar story that always gets me. I really, really appreciate that. So this place obviously specializes in sandwiches and burgers and wraps and a little bit of everything, which is really, really cool. You know, kind of having a little bit of Middle Eastern flair in there, such as items like the shawarmas. I think it's only suiting to start with the one that started it all after all. But then they also had items like quesadillas, and I mean, really, they pretty much had whatever you wanted. Uh, interesting enough, they also had a bubble tea, like a boba tea uh, place in the in here as well, um, which are, is apparently very, very, very popular and common. I didn't get a try today, but definitely, I mean, hey, if you like a bubble boba tea, you can definitely swing on by to that. So here we are to basically eat all these freaking items. So this is definitely a lot of food. We definitely did not have a lot of time. Uh, what I will say, though, is that the first bites, at least at this point, were absolutely exceptional, and I can really Really see why people enjoyed and uh, you know and made so much fuss about the Terry Melt. Very delicious. Maybe I'll try this steak baguette. This is heavy. Really heavy. I'll comment on the breads, like the breads they were using for items like this sandwich here and stuff was just so soft, it was so fresh, everything was coming local, uh, and really that was kind of a thing that they really highlighted and really mentioned. If they didn't make it, it was local. Like they're, for example, they're making all the sauces, like even their ranch dressing. I've never heard of a place that really is like making their ranch dressing. They're making their ranch dressings, they're making the sauces, they're really just kind of sticking it to what they, what they know. The flavors on this is just fantastic. That baguette is soft, got that ranch on there, the peppers. This is just way too good. 
So the area of Dearborn and Dearborn Heights are just kind of outside Detroit, but I will say they're absolute huge food hubs, which I don't think I, I well, I did not, I did not realize until I was there. Maybe I'll change these up, try this burger. So we have Beirut burger, we got a smash burger, smash patty, french fries, and coleslaw right on it. That's a big burger. There's literally every cuisine you can imagine and really good spots like this one. There's a really nice zesty sauce on that. Very delicious. The amazing thing is as it's such like a food community and yet it's still like, I mean it's big, don't get me wrong, but it's such a food community um, and the community really stands by their restaurants. They're very proud, like it's, you know, Dearborn, Dearborn Heights proud, serving their community, being local and something which is amazing to see in a community of this size and, and, uh, and magnitude. Next we'll try this quesadilla. Steak quesadilla looks very, very delicious. Very cheesy. That steak is just so good on all these items. But now as things are continuing to open back up, you know, you can go to excellent places like the Terry Melt. Uh, you can find some new local spots. Again, I think it's really cool that the whole area supports local and is such a, like a local proud. Um, and really, again, like you have, you know, hidden gems or places like this, which are not only staples in the community, um, you know, and have been for years. Again, whether it be um, through the origination of the sandwich itself at the Coney Islands, which again, a Coney Island is basically a diner, or, you know, whether it be in the more modern day where they actually have, um, you know, the flagship, the brick and mortar here, um, you know, serving up just some delicious food like they are. All right, I haven't tried one of the, uh, the shawarmas yet, so let's try the shawarma. Let's try this chicken shawarma. They're really getting kind of that traditional kind of garlic sauce and shawarma and a Middle Eastern flavor. Very good. Very, very nice. But besides that, I think it's pretty straightforward. Definitely a big challenge. Um, I do talk quite a bit about the food and the food items, uh, you know, just kind of throughout the video. So I'll pretty much leave you to that. Um, but like I said, very delicious challenge. Really was enjoying it. Obviously hoping to get the meal for free by uh, completing it. Try the beef shawarma. The flavors on that are just like, damn. Damn. And so with that, everybody, I'll let you get to the rest of the video, but definitely in the area, really great food if you want to stop on by. Um, really nice, friendly staff. And like I said, it's kind of a, it's a really cool backstory, cool, uh, you know, kind of or, or origin, origin to it. So uh, with that, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video, and uh, ultimately, let's see what happens. All right, I'm down to the patty melt, steak melt, and the AI baguette. So delicious. Let's try this great big steak melt. This is the best seller, and it is very it's photogenic. About 1440. That ranch, just the sauces they're making here, like it's fantastic. I don't know. Whatever they got going on, they got it going on well. Next we have this AI baguette.
Ooh, olive. We are down to the patent mo, which looks very delicious. Everything so far has been so delicious. Oh. Can't say no. It's a lot of food, but delicious food, that. Ketchup. I couldn't deny the ketchup. Okay, what do you want to answer? Alright, we are done. Somewhere around 22 minutes, 10 seconds, something like that. I gotta say, the terry melt, it is legit. It is very delicious. That original chicken one was fantastic. I see why the steak is the best seller. You know, I gotta say, that steak baguette blew my mind. Baguettes, I think it'd be really hit or miss. And this one was like so on point, I can't even imagine. The spreads were soft, it was absolutely fantastic. Thoroughly enjoyed that. That Beirut burger as well. The sausage, just very zesty. Just, I can't say enough. Everything was fantastic. That beef shawarma. Anyway, so for that, you give me a free, which is pretty cool. But yeah, thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly have enjoyed my time here at Terry Melt. So if you're ever in Dearborn, Michigan, definitely stop by. Even if you're not from the area, just come here anyway. Very, very delicious. Loved it. Great place for a sandwich. Shawarma, burger, whatever it may be. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's video, of course. So next time, it's happy, really hungry, happy eating. That's about it. I know they got they got a big uh, famous bubble tea place here. Maybe I'll have to uh, give one of those a go. I do like a bit of dessert every now and then. But in the meantime, that's it. I eat animals. Check out the merch, new store, and uh, that everybody. Go to JoelEats.com. All right, there's my plug. All right, till next time. Happy eating. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there everybody, thanks so much for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos, that's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.